Hello, my name is Satish Satyavakeshwaran and I am a senior product engineer on the Amazon Redshift team. In this video, I am going to show you a simple demo of how to create a model using Amazon Redshift's ML feature. Amazon Redshift's ML feature allows SQL users such as data analysts, database developers and data scientists to create, train and deploy machine learning models using familiar SQL commands in Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift ML seamlessly uses Amazon SageMaker for training models while the predictions are done in Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift ML automatically discovers and tunes the best model based on the training dataset using Amazon SageMaker Autopilot. Amazon SageMaker Neo compiles the trained model as an executable which is deployed as a SQL UDF in Amazon Redshift. Let's go to the demo. For the demo, imagine a data analyst with no machine learning expertise is running the create model to predict whether a mobile subscriber will churn for a given time period. We will use an imaginary data set for a mobile operator. The table customer activity is already created and loaded in the database. For training purposes, we will use the customer data before the year 2020 and for the inference queries, we will use the customer data from 2020. Let's run the create model command with the training data coming from a select query. I've already replaced the required IAM role and the S3 bucket values in the command. The S3 bucket is used to store intermediate results and for Amazon SageMaker to utilize the training dataset. The target option specifies which column is the machine learning label and in our case it is the churn column. The create model might take some time because many activities take place behind the scenes in creating the best trained model using Amazon SageMaker Autopilot. Let's run the command. At the end of creating the model, a Redshift SQL function named MLFN customer churn is created, which will be used for predict prediction queries. The create model command is complete now. The show model command can be used to check the status of the create model. Let's run this command. You can see now the model state is ready. Now let's run, run some predictions. Here is an example prediction query which uses the SQL function created by the model. The inputs are the same columns that are used in the create model command. Let me run this query now. Anything that is true in the output is an indication that the customer is going to churn. Here is another variation of the inference query which gives the total count of customers who are going to churn versus who are going to stay. Let me run this. So as you can see, 298 customers are going to churn based on the prediction. I'm going to show you the inference in the form of visualization using Amazon QuickSight for more insights. I have used the inference functions to analyze more patterns using visualizations here. First one is customer churn by month. As you can see, July and October have the highest churn rate. The second one is customer churn by state. In this case, New Jersey has the highest churn rate, followed by the state of New York. In this video, we introduced and did a demo on simple create model using Amazon Redshift ML. Thanks for watching.